You're on. I could have used this crappy one I bought on eBay for you. Was that a used one or what? Yeah, it's a used one. Who cleaned it up? This wasn't so bad like yours was. I blasted it. Then I found this nice one at home. Seemed to get a rusty though. Feel the damage on that though. What's that from? I can't see the picture. Anymore. What's that from? Somebody uh, beat this out sideways with a hammer. The shifter shaft was in here. And they were beating on that damn thing with a big ass mallet trying to get it out. They marred that thing all up. That's worse than yours. Huh. See, it looks really nice with a piece of crap. So this one here is a good one. It's a good thing we got an extra one. I like mine. You like yours? Okay, yes. we'll, we'll use yours. Okay, so here's your shaft. Gonna get shafted here. These are all the old parts in the old tranny case. We're gonna do a mock-up. See that doesn't fit on there? That's not the right one. Just trying to get set up. That's not almost too big. Lots of parts in that thing. This one that goes there, but there should be another washer. That one goes there. We're missing a washer. Missing one. What'd you do with it? Don't know. That's why this stuff that's apart for months. And this is the one that goes right here. It's not in there? No. Well, I don't know where it would be other than there. Unless it was never in there. Unless this is it. That's the one that goes inside the trap door. The trap door. Hiding it from me. I saw that. Sneaky. That's the one that goes in there, isn't it? Yeah, so that one goes in there. This one goes over here. And then the one that goes on here, which we don't have. These big thick ones go inside the cluster on the right side. These two here go on the little cluster on the left side. This goes right here. This goes on second gear. We don't have this one. And this goes right there, but there's supposed to be a washer there. So what are we going to do? Now, this here is 465, 550. So this is a lot thicker than this piece here. They wouldn't be running this thing over here all the way, I would think, when the washer would chew itself up. Even though that looks like what they're doing. So if we do it, then we have to cut this deeper all the way down. I really don't want to do that. See, ideally I want to have a washer here between these. See, like that's up in the air. Seems now. to help it. Yeah, it gets me off of that edge. Right. And it makes it line up with this other side here. We're still way lower. So the washer needs to be thicker than this one. This is pretty thin washer. Yeah, it's 40. So if I had a 60 pound washer, that'd be about right. But I don't know what we'd use for a washer. I have to find something. It'd have to be about that size. Closest thing we got today is a Sportster washer, and I don't think it's uh, it's bigger than this. I think. Not sure. Okay, we're searching for a lost washer here. We'll be back. That's what I'm looking for right there. Perfect. First one out of the box. 
That's because my eyeballs work. No doubt in my mind. 60 cal. Barely hits on the outside of that. It's a little bit small, but it would work. Better? Just slightly below the surface. Other than 10, but much better, huh? Well, it's lined up now, sir. Yeah. So you get full contact. Yeah. Why would, why would you not want full contact? Why not? I got gotcha. you. It'd be a shame. Yeah, it'd be stupid not to. So. So that might not supposed to be in there, but don't be surprised it doesn't wind up in there, though. Okay, well, they could have forgotten it, too, huh? No, I don't think they made it for it. I don't think they did it that way. The other washer, it's a bigger diameter, but it's a bigger hole in it, too. It's bigger diameter. You see, it's also a lot bigger this way. Where would a person get a washer kit that's set up like that? So this one, if you put this on there, it might turn orbitally like this, going in circles. and heat itself up because it's not being centered. So it bounces all over the place and causes a lot of wear. So you, want, you don't want to do that kind of stuff. You want to have something like this that fits in there fairly close. See? Right. Mm -hmm. So it'll actually rotate, not orbitally rotate. Right, right. So even though we have very low contact here, which is bad, see, there's not a lot of area to wear against. Mm -hmm. so that's a negative, but is that better or worse than having this loose here? I think it's better for it to be tight here than... Uh, ideally, we need something that's... Uh, Looks like this. Yeah. That small ID and big O D. Yeah. There is nothing. We don't have that option. They don't make it. I'd have to make it. I don't want to make it. So. These are uh, thrust washer kits. CCI used to make these years ago. They probably still do. Pretty expensive for an assortment like that. They add up. Sure how that fell out this last time. Hmm. Now I'll, I'll work on it here. Play with that later. Gotta get off this stupid oil pump box. Now. All right. Okay. The next problem is is we need to correct new main shaft. Compared to the old main shaft, looks similar. See, none of these gears really fit that good. That appears to fit okay. It's tight on there. Rough ass machining. They don't deburr anything. Kind of cobby how all this stuff is made. Quality is so so. Hopefully the materials are strong and they don't break, but I have my doubts. I'll be testing it. I know you will. I'm not. Might. You might accidentally let the clutch out by mistake. Fancy shaft. Nice machining. Looks nice. 
That's the kicker, huh? Yeah, I wonder if it's any good. in the splines. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Nobody knows how to make anything good. Okay, we'll be back. Alright, just got some work on the roll shaft. Bought the same crap. Not if any of this stuff's original. Well, I told you they'd been in that box before. All this stuff is pretty damn loose. Thought I bought you a new one. Yeah. Pretty loose. Oh well. That's new stuff. So we got original gaskets or we got crap. Got a new one of those. If we need it. And crock it. Brand new one of those we don't need now. Okay. Wow. There's a price from the eighties dad used to get for them. Gotcha. How much? He was trying to get four dollars for him back in the eighties. We actually used to get that much for them. They ought to be up to about four fifty by now, huh? Four fifty? Yeah, it's only been <laughs> forty years almost. It's only been forty years. Thirty five years. It's gone up fifty cents. Isn't that something? Everything else has gone up ten times in price since then though. The dollar used to be worth some money back in the day. together so many years it's stuck together. Just original parts don't fit, see. <laughs> Man. Mm. Precision. I've used them before. I don't want it so tight on this one. Wanna draw file that shaft a little? Here. It's on there now. Okay. I don't think it's coming off very easy. It warmed up from the your hands. Because it's sitting on they got a shaft on the inside of the shaft. I can't even run it this way. There's a gap between the washer and the spine. Oh yeah. Mm hmm I'm not gonna pull it back off. <laughs> Fillet and a chamfer, and they're not adequate. Not compatible with each other. Well, yours is all screwed up on there, but yeah, it's just as tight. Oh well. So, what are you going to deburr it? My fingers are in the way of me cutting it. See, I'm cutting my finger, especially when it rolls over the callus over mm -hmm. the edge. I might have to use a grinder to do that. I think I'm going to have to use a die grinder to get in there better. So this thing has a big, even though it's a big undercut, right. it's not undercut. Right. All the way in. Yeah, you can see the fillet in the damn thing. So they didn't make the shaft right. Figures. All right, so we're going to have to modify this piece here. But I don't know what happened to the original one. You should have an original one. Someplace. Okay, there's the air compressor going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go back and get these parts to fit with each other. Okay, you want me to follow you? 
Going back in the inner sanctum. This is a project they're working on here. Look at these cases. All polished. Look at that. This rear wheel was a real pain in the ass. Powder coated. Cubic money. We'll be back in a minute. Damn floor. You don't like my floor? Yeah, it's okay. Boy, it's incredible. There's all that prep to that new stuff. Deburring and clean it up and measuring and... Well, they didn't do it, so... Someone has to do it. All right, so the washer. So I put a pretty good sized chamfer on the inside and I lightly cut the uh, ID out. I don't know if you can see the radius right here where it sticks up to fill it sticks up because they didn't undercut it deep enough. So now when it goes all the way in, it hits flat. You can hear it hitting flat. Right. And it turns freely like it's Up against to. the shoulder, yeah. So now we're hitting flat on that. This is low gear. So now it fits in there like it's supposed to. So. so you get the burrs off, it turns a lot freer now. So. Heck yeah. The ID was okay. The problem was the when they faced it down this way to cut this edge down, it made a burr on the inside, which made it tight on the shaft. Now it's, now it's been nice. Perfectly. Now this is also called burnishing it in. So that one's pretty good now. Okay, then we got our low gear washer over here Put it on that side. That'd be disc gear. That's low. This is second. Leads a little more burnishing. Yeah, I need, I need some honing. That's past burnishing. How about a little lubricant? Try to remove that a lot to make it better. And this one goes on here. And I'm going to even go on that too. Alright, so these things fit like a glove. Uh, tighter than it's supposed to be on that too. Yeah, yeah nothing, nothing really fits on this thing. There's that mark in there. There's some kind of mark right there. Hmm. All right, so this all needs to be fitted up a little bit. That's your original one. So, it's all a nice fit. Second one. So you got three sizes? Mm-hmm. See, so instead of changing the hole cutters, I just have three different holders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are only like a thousand bucks a piece. So not too bad. So I didn't pay that for them. I used to buy stuff on eBay when it was cheaper.
more economical of that. Manager, this is you don't want to be putting pressure on this directly. Protects the uh, metal. I did a pretty good job there, didn't I? I think I screwed that one up. Here's a bright side pan head case that needs repair. That's a tool. Yeah? Yep, that's a tool. That's a tool, all right. Tool does works for you. That's for line reaming the uh, cams, cam bushing, the penny bushing. Ah. You would have thought that was a pile of crap. I didn't say that. I knew it's here for a reason. Yeah, there's a shovel in behind it too. Okay. That's for doing a shovel head motor, cone motors. And then this is the left side over here. That's a weld fixture. You put the primaries on your weld on it. Oh. So. Okay. Some people call that scrap aluminum. Other people, you make tools out of that shit. Jim's a charge for one of those tools. Boy, I'll tell you. Couldn't afford it. Is Jim wealthier than you? Yeah, I don't know. He sold out everything. So. Oh. He's probably down in Margaritaville. That's why the company's turning to shit. They don't want to make anything old anymore. There's no profit in it. They don't sell 5000 a year. They think we're in trouble anymore. Screw the old bikes that need the parts, they don't care. Okay, we're going to go with one of these two here. That one will work for that one. This one will work for the big one. Don't tell me you're going to hold that while you turn that on. I would never do something unsafe like that. You're just going to hone it by hand, right? Because I could see that thing would wrap you right up in there.
because you can see the chatter mark. Yeah, I know. It's so fine, I can't see the mark. They were there. Where's the other one? There it is. See, I didn't screw up, I just had it on the wrong end. Thought I screwed up. Are those uh, stones replaceable? Yeah. They're like 30 something bucks a piece. I do it for all kinds of different diameters so it wears them out quicker. This one's way, this is for one inch. See how the arc is wrong? Mm hmm. She's doing one inch. I'm not doing a one inch job right now. This side brown. Do you see the marks there, sir? Mm hmm. You can hear it. Yeah. That's to pick up the oil, though. Yeah, yeah, and your bearing surface hmm? is just what you want, you know. Yeah. Extra fine finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, try it. Yeah. I think we'll uh, get that a little extra. Genius told me to use kerosene for this. Oh, really? Why would they say that? It was a dumbass. Well, I was going to say, kerosene is... You don't understand what holding oil is. Special made for doing its job. Getting a little smoother. This one I can't do much because the splines right. beat up the splines a little bit. All right. That's a start. Go see what we got. See, this is how it's supposed to be nice and smooth. Mm hmm. Well, take a fingernail file. Now this was the quality one, remember this is the one that costs extra. Don't know what to say. Buy the cheap one next time, see if it's any different. Look at that, that's an ugly baby. It has a little repair work done yeah, to it. Yeah, a little bit of repair work. It actually has a little bit of modification oh. done to it. Okay, well. See that was before. That was a brand new set of 110 heads. What did you do that for? I wanted to go faster. Oh, did it work? Of course. Whenever I get done with it. 
So there's the exhaust port. There's the exhaust port. Which one looks even? <laughs> never know, Tatro, you never know. This, this one here is not going straight in. That one there does go straight in. Oh. There's your intake ports. That's a little difference. Wow. So that one there is goes like that. That one there kind of goes in like that. Straight in. Jeez, how much aluminum in that? It's a lot heavier oh, than this one. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I get a little carried away when people want me to modify things. How many hours of doing that? Eh, it's a couple hours of welding. Jeez. Let's see, I raised the port up a little bit. I bet see. that thing was hot. See, the port got raised up yeah. a little bit, see. So now you got a nice oval port, see. So my shape goes straight in, so it'll flow real good. I also uh, strengthened it up here, see. Wow. It, it won't warp like this one here, to, like that does. Jeez. And it had a compression release in there, I kind of accidentally filled in. <laughs> I got the torch, really. That burnt my torch. The holes in there that deep. Wow. The, the valve guide angle might be getting changed slightly. See the yeah, I see. See how they've been moved? That was too much, so I'll do a little change in between. Hmm. And an exhaust port. It'll, uh, if you notice that exhaust pipe now is straight with a flange. Right. And like Harley, it has the pipe, the hole going this way and the flange over here. Air doesn't air doesn't go like that and no, instantly turn. it doesn't like doing that. The disadvantage is now the pipe you can't use a stock exhaust pipe because the frames in the way on the stupid twin cams. But I have a way of getting around that I think. That's another long term project I didn't get to. Wow. Then they came out those cheap ass B three heads from SNS for like no money, so huh. kinda of defeats the purpose of me spending you know, huh. three, four grand with a ton. Yeah. I'll just keep those for myself. It's all right. As much as I love twin cams, you know. I know you're not big on them. But, you know, they'll fit on top of the Evo case too because we do the case. So. rough. Better? Too tight, but it's all right. But I have a little bit of clearance. I have a little 
little bit of rock on it, but not a lot. I just want to throw a hole on to make sure it was round. Right. You see some of the machine marks still in the reamer marks. If I don't like reamers that much for finished work, they leave nice round marks all the way through it instead of a home crosshatch pattern. Okay, I need one for this one. real fine finish on this one. These are the super fine stones. Those are the medium ones there. don't get enough oil and then they, they stick on you. They get out a little bit of clearance off. Boy, just a little bit goes a long way, doesn't it? Yeah, they still ain't got much clearance on it. It doesn't even rock any. That's zero, right? Let's go on that, but not enough. We had zero before it was. The grid in there takes up the gap, too. You're going to get all the grid out. So you pull it out and check it like this. I can actually feel a little clearance now. And going that far, I can't feel, but you come out to here, I can feel a little bit. See, we're in a bushing that far. Mm -hmm. 
remember those gears are pushing the half for us. It's a lot more gap. You can feel a lot more clearance, even though it's not the same. You can look at the oil squishing between the bush and the shaft. Right. You can see in there a little bit. So you know there's some clearance. But the biggest thing is it slides on and off the shaft. Right. Mm hmm. So I've stuck more in one of these things on big twins because I got them too tight. I purposely have to make a little extra loose because it's only being lubricated with uh, grease. I mean, not thick, but uh, thick gear oil. It's not real thin oil, so I have to have some room for it to get in there. It is pretty highly loaded, too, so that makes a difference. Okay, so now I'm going to clean all this stuff off. And we're back. Okay, so let's see if we can get any of these parts to fit together now. This one goes here. Not back cut for racing. You know we're gonna have to modify that Alan, don't you? Uh -huh. <sighs> Gotta be able to speed shift. God, those things go on nice now. It's too close. Not good. And that's all the clearance you got for the dogs. Oh. They're right up against each other. How do you fix that? Shorten them, grind them up. Well, for racing, I like it like that, but not for a street bike. You're trying to go into two gears at once. Hmm. You only got that much in play between the. I'm squeezing the both gears right now. So you only have that. You got to like. It's only like 25 or 30 thousand total clearance. It's pretty tight. For a race bike, that's fine. I like that because as soon as you bang that sucker, it's in the next gear. But for a street bike, that's a little bit too close. I'm surprised they got it set up like that. That's, this isn't a street bike. It's an army bike. That's probably not correct. There's probably some more of them uh, surprises that we don't know about yet. Okay, where's our other one? Uh, Second gear at there it is over there. Ooh, it even fits in there. Well, that ain't gonna do any good. I'm pushing is higher than a damn washer. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of the washer. I don't know of anybody that could do this by themselves. Well, because it just bolts together. They don't know what to look at, look for. It just bolts together. What's I going? mean, I try. I'm I'm trying to watch, but that's a little. We got some issues with that. That's, that might not shift freely. <laughs> yeah, that's a little. A little, a little tight on the, the shaft. We'll have to use a little lapping compound on that one there. I'm burnishing in though, see? So he's working in. Mm -hmm. That's dry. Now if I had lapping compound on there, it would bring it in a little better.
No go, huh? The fuck. Look at the gap. What do you mean? What are you looking at? Okay, I'm on the top of the dog right now. Uh huh. Not engaged. I'm on the top. Look at the gap. Look at the clearance. That's the clearance. Wow. Look at the clearance. Yep. I don't really know what I'm looking at, but... Okay, we got this much clearance. Yeah. And we got this much clearance. See the difference? Mm-hmm. Wow. So all of your movement of your fork is going to be taking up the gap. It's never going to engage. It's only going to engage like that far, which means it'll round off. Something's not right. It's these are way too close and these are way too far apart. Something in between would be nice. But, uh, that's kind of ridiculous on clearance. So here's your original over here. This one goes in here. See, we don't have the washer in here right now, but. Supposed to be one. That's no, we're not even in the right gear. That's reverse gear. Dumbass. Not even in the right, right spot. This one goes this way. So you got a little bit of a gap in here. Stock. This thing here is ridiculous how much you got nothing, you got way too much. So I'm not sure what the problem is here. My guess is it has to do with the height of this bushing right here. They didn't cut this bushing back enough. See it's on a shoulder on the inside in there. Can you see that? Uh-huh. It's sticking up way high on this side. So what can we do? You have to shorten the bushing up. You have to do that with a uh, lathe. Because that has to be a precision board. Because it needs to go in deeper. See, there's your stock. See how much clearance they got? That's a lot. That's probably more than stock anyway. See how much that is? You got 150,000 in there or something. You put this one in there. Even more, see? Hmm. We measured it. It's about three forty. About three ninety. About fifty thou difference. So we gotta cut that fifty thou. Or even more, because remember how we're putting a washer over here now, mm -hmm. which is not supposed to be here. So if I take the 50 thou plus this 60, cut 100, 110 off of this, that'll bring this thing in a lot closer where it'd be nice. You can see the engagements over here. See, see that's engaged. See. That's just clearance from there down. So if I take 110 off of that, that'll put me about only about 70 thou clearance total between the two sides, which would be a nice tight fit. That'd be good. And that'll make this whole stack good. This here, I don't have to cut these down. I need to get another 20 thou in here or something. See how much it wiggles on here? Mm -hmm. it's, it wiggles enough that it would engage. Start bouncing inside the dog. Won't the shifting fork hold it straight though? No, they're, they're pretty loose too. Remember, everything's has clearance. Yeah. Nothing's tight. So we don't have enough here, and we got way too much over here. Hmm. So things are just not right. Now I still don't know what the overall height in here is because that's why I was doing my mock-up to see what the overall height is, so I can see if I can put this washer in here. That's what I was doing. So this is the the old bearings, which is still enough to go by. This is your original case. So all of this can be put together for mock-up. 
see what we got to work with. Tomorrow I'll go ahead and put bearings in there, but for now I'm just going to slam them together. To see, it's kind of self-aligned because there's a ball bearing in there. The other problem is you got the second gear plate in there, and I don't know if that's even near being in the right spot. That's going to keep me from cutting my 110 off. See, I'm on top of the second gear plate right now. Okay. So that keeps me from going any closer. Take that washer out and play with it, but we'll lose the clearances here. See, there's always something else that's going to keep you from doing what you want. So I understand why they got the dogs are cut so deep. It's the way more they should be. And the next problem is there's this one over here. bad at all, huh? Well, I still got way too much. I can't put that washer in there like I want. Not as much. I got to make it a lot thinner. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. But I don't know if I can clearance. I don't know if I can cut it with the gear I got in there. I might have to cut that, the shoulder deeper. The counterboard that we did in there. There's no index pin on there. No, it's just the register is rolling its head on. There we go. So I'm going to take this washer out of here. Remember, I didn't cut this full depth. Yeah. So if this fits without the washer, we can run it this way. So there's a slight gap in there, but not much. So I'm going to have to cut that a little deeper. Because the gear right now is, should be bottomed out in there, isn't it? Hard to tell what the hell this is hitting on. See, it's rocking on something, so I assume it's rocking on the gear in there. Right now, our biggest problem making things right is is the second gear plate is in the way, and I would have to cut a tremendous amount of material off that second gear plate, like the whole damn thing, that whole thickness, to get things to center up correctly. So, what do you recommend? No. I don't know what I can do to make the dog any better. That's the problem. The dog's way the hell out of whack. Start comparing things against known pieces and look for discrepancies, huh? You got it. 
Something's not right. I'm gonna go to number one thing. 840, 860, so that's thicker than stock. So that's not the problem. Next thing is the depth of this. Hundred and thirty-eight. Hundred and thirty-nine. That ain't it. So that leaves just this is the difference here, which we already know is different. Three thirty. Three ninety-one. So this is a lot deeper than that one. The problem is this. There's a difference here a bit. Got 193. Yeah, there's a difference. 151, that's 40 of it. So we need a spacer between these two things here to move the gear in. It's 40 thou too far that way. So they got sticking this way to the left. And it's shorter to begin with. Look at that. This is taller. And this sticks out 40,000 feet. How did they figure this was all going to work? And here's where your clutch sits. See, they're about equal. But it sits out 40,000 more this way. They cut too much of this way. They cut this here way too much. See that mark right there? Yeah, that's where it should be. They cut too much. That's how much they cut too much. It's causing issues. So the second gear plate is going to keep us from moving the whole assembly over. Well, that's a constant. That's not adjustable. Yeah, it's a fixed hard point. You can go in there and grind it thinner, but you can't move it. It's held in with the two screws right here. Right. You can't move it. It's also against the shoulder in the case. You look and there's a big shoulder in there. Mm -hmm. Now, but what I can do is you can take the 39, the 40 and earlier one, 3940 plate, they're thinner. I don't know if I have any 3940 plates. The 38 and earlier are different again. They're 35 to 38. It's another plate. Can we pull that one out yeah. and dress it down? Well, you can only take so much. you got to have some in there for... Oh, I see. It. But we can cut half of that away probably and still be okay. These are heat treated. They're hard as hell. So they have to be ground down somehow. But uh, if you put the 39 point in there, that... See, they're not... It's a completely different training. They're not... It's the same design, but it's completely different. You know, the diameters are different. This whole case is a lot bigger than, this, than the 40 tranny. This is 41. The center lines are closer together. Everything is just smaller diameter. So if you put the early one in there, it's it's probably going to not do what we need to do. But that's about the only thing I think of that might work and help us. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go in here and make, up, make a spacer. Like a big Belleville spring what you need. And you need this here to sit out here further. So we need to make a conical sp spacer that's 60, 70 thou thick, basically at least. Which would suck that thing forward. You cut this bushing back the same amount. Everything sucks in. Like so we're 100, uh, you can go 100 thou. would be nice. But the difference in height over here is not 100 thou. You know where your clutch goes? Because your clutch starts getting out of alignment too. 
but we can play with that a little bit also. But even these aren't made the same. See how the, yeah. the clutch hub stops against that surface there. The shoulder here is where the clutch hub is. It's pretty even. So you can only go basically the difference in heights, which is about what is about 50 thou I gave you, 40, 50 thou. Then it's going to start affecting where the clutch sits. Now the clutch uh, can be played with by trimming it on the inside of the hub where it hits on this. There's ways of playing and cheating. Every, every piece gets cheated on a little bit. But right now, I don't think you're going to have enough. Unless they increase the height of the drum, which I can measure here, the offset. You know, if they throw this further to compensate, then we're fine. But I bet you they didn't change that. So that's the distance from here. That's basically 1220. 1220 is the same height, so you, we're not gaining there. And you measure over here. 380. 360. We gained about 20. So they got about 20 thou more throw in it. That's probably more of an accident than design. <laughs> but we're, you know, we have a quarter inch of gap between the damn dogs. That's there's no way the shift fork is going to engage, move this thing enough to engage it all the way. There's no way. So, got some well, issues. Well, we're going to have to think on this. Well, what I'm going to do is we're going to compare my set because we got two of these sets. Okay. And uh, yeah, maybe they're made different, huh? Maybe there's something wrong with the set. If this set's made wrong, then I can send it back and say, "Hey, this thing's a piece of crap. Give me another set." So that's what I'm going to do. That's the advantage because we have two sitting here. All right. Well, we'll look at it then. Normally, we don't have the option of an extra pair of stuff sitting here. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not just a throw-together combination of parts. It's Stuff's all made wrong. So this is the big culprit right here. Well, for a thousand bucks, you ought to get some quality out of it. Or lack of there, you mean? <laughs> don't know what to say. So... So anyway, we're going to have to make this thing basically thicker is what we need to do. So that's going to be a washer. Of course, it's uh, probably wouldn't hurt if it was heat treated because this is heat treated. But it's not going to be. All right, that's it for now. We'll see. Well, so.